Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over my newest layout for the Radical Technologies Accelerator. This is using the MIDI Designer Pro 2. Uh, this is just an update to the original design that I did uh, after I realized you could do one big page rather than having both separate uh, pages independently uh, triggered. So now I put every, uh, everything related to the oscillators on the front panel, as well as some extras related to the different oscillators, and then add, uh, added ring modulation and some other features on this first page. And in the second page, I put in the filters and the envelopes, and I color-coded the filters and the envelopes uh, related to uh, the ones that are related to each other. It wasn't, they, uh, Radical Technologies didn't set it up so that envelopes one and two were related to filter one and uh, envelopes three and four related to filter two. So I just tried to keep that consistent as well as adding, uh, I added the string filter to this page and noise and the noise filter as well as the envelopes five and six which are assignable. Now, I also added the effects to one section, and what I've done here as well is made the equalizers uh, show up as the same color so that you know um, where to find the equalizer for each different uh, effect, so to speak. And you also have the effects wet here so this would be for all the different parts you can either turn it up or down in this menu and then the last bank in in here or sorry excuse me tab goes over the volume for each of the parts and i made them bigger this time so it's easier to press the the button if you want and kept the equalizer here the same color so all equalizers would come out to be um, blue. And so you have ba the basic same volumes and then the LFOs are on this page as well. And I made the patch in initializing feature uh, right here up front too. So you know you have a sound and you can just initialize your patch. So then in bank two, now I have, okay, if I can click it. Okay, now I have all of the source, uh, the mod source and destinations. Uh, the first page would be one through 12. Second page is 13 through 24. The third page is 25 to 32, and I've now added the global mod uh, source and destinations, so that's 1 through 8. And this is actually uh, pretty useful. I didn't realize that they were different source and destinations than the, um, the mods 1 through 32. That must be for just the part, but it is actually quite nice to have that, um, considering it, it, you're able to uh, modulate uh, some of the effects. Uh, and then I also added the organ settings at the end here, since uh, me personally it's not um, a feature I, I use that often. So again, this is a, a pretty nice way to lay it, uh, have the layout set. So you're just going between two banks rather than three previously, and most of the things related to uh, one specific feature will be right there on one page and they're not uh, all squished together, which I kind of felt that they, they were. And I tried to keep everything consistent going down. So if you had oscillator one, two, and three, uh, here you would see, um, you know, the, the parameter is the same as you go down. And I kept the course tuning now all in the same section before I had uh, I had this way to alter the the course tuning uh, by with these pickers uh, to specific values since that can be difficult with these um, with these knobs 
Um, so, so that becomes easier, and now it's all on one page. So hopefully you like this update. I think it'll make it a little bit easier to go through the whole layout uh, for the Radical Technologies Accelerator. So if you have any questions, just leave comments in YouTube, and I can answer those as soon as possible. Thank you.